Whether it be on a field, a court, or even an ice rink, racism can still come to the surface. Now one Tucson Roadrunner is doing his part to turn an unfortunate incident into a catalyst for change. It's just a weird moment where no one would, would like to be in. More than two months later, it's still tough for Roadrunners forward Boko Imama to discuss. He's a player known for being supportive of his teammates, such as Cole Holtz. Good person to talk to about life in general. Like, if I bring up something, he's like, he doesn't, you know, let it go. He's like, oh, let's talk about it, you know. So, um, him, he's, he's a very down-to-earth guy. But during a game back in January... There's so many uh, ways to... Uh, uh, you know, to portray racism. In San Jose, Barracuda Center Christoph Rabick made a monkey-like gesture towards Imama. He didn't see it, but several of his teammates did, and this time they were there for him. You can see on the reaction on the bench, like, you know, we we were freaking out. Like, it wasn't it wasn't like, oh, we'll take care of this later. It's like, no, like, this, this guy's got to go. Rabick was suspended 30 games by the American Hockey League. Oh, I have nothing to say to him. For Imama, it wasn't the first racial incident. Throughout my career, it's been happening to me. I have to say almost every year. Imama was the victim of a racial slur by Brandon Manning two years ago while playing for Ontario. Manning was suspended five games. When he came back, Imama let his fists do the talking. Imama over the top, a couple of clubbing rights. I try to fight as many people as I want, but it's not really going to make a change or, you know, change anything. So this time, Amama has gone with a different approach. He and the Roadrunners put together T-shirts that say enough is enough on one side and all for all on the other. Professional hockey is 97% white. Two years ago, the Hockey Diversity Alliance was formed and it aims to prevent racism in the sport. And the proceeds of Boko's T-shirts go towards that cause. They're, they're great and it means a lot to Boko, right, and, uh, and to the whole team. Like, you know, he's one of us. The T-shirt, it will, you know, it raises awareness. It, it kind of brings the little community together and we're able to, you know, to raise some funds for uh, a great cause that uh, will just help the, the younger generations. You'd like to think racism isn't widespread in hockey in 2022, but it just takes one incident to show you that it is still yeah. there. Yep. But a way to affect change is what they're doing. Yeah.